Merry Christmas. Emmanuel, God is with us and God becomes one of us so that God's love can become tender and then we can be tender with each other. And the soul feels its worth. I remember about 20 Christmases ago, I, I Christmas morning, I went to White Memorial Hospital to visit this homie named Duke who had been shot the night before Christmas Eve. So uh, I walk in there and he's in a room by himself. And I say, Merry Christmas. And he goes, gee, what you bring me for Christmas? And I said, not a damn thing. And I said, but God has given you a gift. And he goes, what? Your life. Oh yeah, that. You know, the doctor told me that the bullet destroyed one third of my lungs. That's almost half. So I congratulated him on his mastery of fractions. And then he kind of shifts gears and he goes, who'd you come to visit? I said, what? You know, who'd you come to the hospital to see? I said, you, Menso. No, ah. Uh -huh. And he couldn't believe I was there to visit him. He figured I was maybe visiting three parishioners from Dolores Mission, and since I was in the neighborhood, maybe I'd go visit him. Visiting with each other is challenging, even with a mask and at a distance. We're being invited to, uh, to spare each other this virus. But we can still visit during this time of Christmas break. Emails, FaceTime, texting, Zoom. We can still visit each other. We can still be God's tenderness in the world. And the soul will feel its worth. Merry Christmas and may 2021 be different and blessed. Love you.